Khan. Deuteronomy 17 and 5. Then shall thy bring forth that man or that woman which have committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shall be stoned, and shall stone them with stones till they die. So that's the punishment, man, for that uh worshiping that idolatry, man. You know? But Esau, he in charge now, so Esau ain't he ain't pushing forth this, this these laws, man. You know, that's what he's supposed to because hey, there's a lot of laws in here punishment unto death. And it'd be a, it would be a lot of people getting killed on the spot. That's right. That's right. You know. He set himself up. Saying yeah. he chose the people. Yeah. We just reading that in Thessalonians. That's how we know, man. That's how we know through the spirit, man. That these devil are not the chosen people. You know? Uh, they history, right. they history, they history is not to do what's lawful according to the Heavenly Father. The Father, the covenants of the Heavenly Father. The Father, the statute, laws, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. They're not known for that. The law only dwells in Israel. Okay? Uh, yeah. It means the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, but it's people for uh, its place. Right? Uh, but, uh, go ahead and finish the question. Gone. So when we was reading in 2 Thessalonians, where well, the Lord said he's going to destroy this Edomite with the brightness of his coming. Hey, that's going to happen, man. That's right. You know? That's right. The brightness of his coming, when you see that, that's what, you, that's what you're looking at right there. Right? When he appeared. When he come, when he when he come and he appeared. And when is that going to happen? It's going to get ready to happen in the, in the basically like the third world's war, man. You know? Um, got it. Oh, you just going to joke. You just Joe go to, Well, really, you can get yeah. uh, Ezra, the third chapter, 31st verse. Then we can go there. Second Ezra? Yeah. The third chapter, the 31st verse. Con, this is Second Ezra 3, 31. It says, it says, do I do not remember how this way, this this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Question. Question. Right? So that's what Ezra is saying. Because they're in the position that they're in, Babylon is dealing with America. Right? Because they're in the position that they're in. Are they better than Israel? That's what Ezra is saying. Go ahead. It says, or is there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Question. Mm -hmm. Or what generation have so believed thy covenants as Jacob? Question. And yet their reward appeared not. And their labor have no fruit. Mm -hmm. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth, and I think not upon thy commandments. Do that again. It says, and yet their reward appeareth not, appeareth not, and their labor have no fruit. For I have gone here and there thorough through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. So these heathens, so-called white man, he don't think on the commandments of the Heavenly Father. Okay? That's why I was saying they're not going to apply these scriptures and govern the world according to the scriptures. They're not going to do that. Okay? Go ahead. Weigh thou therefore our, our wickedness now in the balance. Mm -hmm. And there is also they dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Verse 35, or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Question. Or what people have so kept the commandments? Question. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Well, and that's plain, man. 
So that's why when you have a shot, come back, you're going to blow their ass out of that land. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, because like you said, blow them out of that land, it's coming. That's the Armageddon, man, it's coming. Uh, Joel 3 and 9. It's uh, Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all men of war draw near. Let them come up. Right? It says proclaim, meaning we're gonna we calling out. That's why we out here on these highways and byways, man. We speaking out, we uttering it, man. We crying out. You know? We crying out to, to the wake up the elect, man. Come back to the fold. Because this World War III is getting ready to happen, man. And when these doors are shut, it's gonna be too late. You know? It says, wake them up. And stir, stir up these men of, of, of war, man. Wake up these uh these generals and these captains and shit. You know, get the mighty men ready for war. When you start hearing uh tanks getting ready, maneuvering, you see people in the military getting all their little, they little tents and all that ready to go live somewhere else. You see all the little uh, uh, the little uh, manifest being read. The little the, you see all that when you're on the military bases, you know when they finna leave. All of the damn groceries and shit be gone out the store. Everybody trying to you know get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Eat all them little meats and shit. Prepare the wives for your husband to be gone. Right. All this, all this, get, it, it's getting ready to come, man. More, it, you know, it come when you regularly go out to the field, but when you get ready for war, you see it more. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say that I am strong. Now, those used to be uh, garden instruments, pruning hooks and plowshares. Because you have those countries, a lot of countries used to be agriculture countries. But now, they're, that agriculture, the money that they used to get from agriculture is going to what? Weaponry now. Right. Nuclear, nuclear missiles. Uh, grenades, whatever kind of in instruments they need to go and prepare to go to war. Yeah, any type of hardware. Yeah, any type of hardware they can get to help them at war. That's what that's what, that's what they get. It says, "Let the weak say that I am strong," because them countries like say like Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, India, those are weak countries. But now they got that nuclear capability. Now they ready. Now they ain't scared of America no more, man. Well, the countries are not scared of America. It's basically like bring it on, you know. Well, Whenever they side with Russia, come. yeah, yep. And then, like, what you say that? Say that again. They side with Russia. Come, come. Yep. So that's where we at right now. That's why we out here proclaiming, man. Telling the hey, the elect, come back to the fold, man. You know. Verse eleven says, "Assemble yourselves." Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause the mighty ones to come down, O Lord, the mighty ones who are the angels. Right? It says assemble, meaning what? Hasten. Where are they going to go? They're going and getting ready to go to the valley of Jehovah's Pass, Yahweh Shapat. Harma got one, man. The mountain of truth. They getting ready to go to the Middle East, man. And they've been in the Middle East, man. America been feeling around in the Middle East ever since, uh, like, the early 70s when Anwar Sadat used to be the president of Egypt. They've been over there ever since then. So they was in it with, against him. And they've been over there ever since then, man. Yeah. Roughly around 47, 48 years, they've been back and forth over there. Before that. You know, even though you had that space, from then, it wasn't no war over there. They still was there. You know, CIA running their little ops and all yeah, that. Yeah, preparing, yeah. you know, they preparing all this stuff. Hang on. Come. Secret operation. It says. It says. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause the mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Because the mighty ones, them angels, 
what they getting ready to do, their job is they, they finna beat the strength right out of the uh, America's military, man. They finna beat the strength right out of them, man. And it says, verse 12. Yeah, Revelation chapter 8. God. It says, verse 12. It says, let the heathen be wakened. Because they finna be roused up to go over there and fight. And come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right? Yahweh Shapat. Right? Meaning, to, uh, for there I will sit to judge. So the Lord said, basically, I'm going to sit there. It's like an ambush, man. He's going to sit to judge. When you look the word judge up, it means to punish or to vindicate or destroy. So it's like an ambush. That's what's finna get ready to happen with, with Esau. Basically finna get ambushed and shit. You know, the Lord putting the spirit on him to get roused up to go over there. Yeah, because he's allowed him all these years to be what one of what they call the superpowers and have a strong military. So at this point, his pride, he think what? Can't nobody defeat him. You know, they don't they don't basically care what everybody they think of. What every weapon everybody else making, they got something to, to, that's better. Yeah. But yeah. what they don't know, the Lord putting the spirit on the bear, man. That's right. The bear <laughs> finna be the bear. Gonna be the, nasty. The bear gonna show you his defense. He go, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it says, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat it says I will it says for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about so you're getting ready to execute a sentence man you know just like just like Esau leads you put you on death row they really on death row and don't even know it you know they'll have you on death row and they'll lead you to be executed they'll walk you down a long hallway so that's what he finna do he finna send them 5,000 miles away to a, to a desert, man. Excuse me, y'all excuse us. Barren and desert, you know? And it says, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. It says, come get ye down, for the press is full. The press is full, meaning it's accomplished, right? The fats overflow, meaning they runneth over, right? For the wickedness is great, it's in abundance, right? That's so the wickedness of Esau is, is, is at its height. It's it's full, like the wine press when you got too many grapes, when you got the wine press going, what? You gonna see the, the blood of the grapes overflowing, running outside. That's what you yeah. get ready to see with Esau, man. Yeah. His wickedness is so high, man, the Lord finna destroy him. It's right. finna be bloodshed in a in a serious sentence on Esau, man. It says verse 14. Multitudes, it says multitudes, i go back and read that again. It says, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. So the harvest, when you read in Matthew, that's the end of the world, right? Go back and get that one. So it, it's, it's ripe for Esau to be, it's at the end, man. His wickedness is ripe for him to be destroyed. It's at the end, man. It says, get ye down. For the press is full and the fats overflow for their wickedness is great. So he getting ready to be brought down. You know? It's time for destruction. It's the point of destruction is come, man. You know? Matter of fact, it says in Revelation uh, 14, 15. Uh, uh, Revelation 14 and 15. Revelation 14 and 15. Back uh, to yeah. I Go ahead. Revelations, uh, oh, Revelations, uh, 14 and, uh, 15. Another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat upon the cloud, mm -hmm. thrust, thrust in thy sickle mm -hmm. and reap, for the time is come for thee, for thee to reap. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. Come, see the harvest of the earth is ripe, man. You know? So it, the, the angels, the mighty ones, getting ready to tread down. They getting ready to tread down here, descend down, and tread over Esau's military. 
that's what's getting ready to happen. You know, I was, hey, and that's the power you how about shit me out shot, man. And deliver Israel. And deliver Israel. Because that's what we read that in uh, Luke, the first chapter. Yeah. Getting ready to give us salvation. That's the salvation we're looking for, man. Deliverance from our enemies, man. You know? You go back, uh, go back to 13, read 13 again. Uh, Revelation 14 and, uh, Revelation 13, I mean, Revelation 14 and, uh, 13. And I heard a voice from oh, heaven. Go back to Joel. Oh, 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 like, 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 oh. Oh, I wasn't even over there. Joel 3 and uh, what? Uh, 13. 13. It says, uh, Joel 3 and uh, 13. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. It said, Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. The harvest is the end of the world. Who are the reapers, man? The whole in that sickle. The angels, man. They tell you, you go back and read Matthew 13. So the angels, he's telling them angels, get ready, right? You know, that they the mighty ones you read up in the chapter book. Go ahead. It says, verse 13. It says, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come ye down. Come ye down. Descend. What? And tread this mighty army. Go ahead. For the press is full. For the press is full of what? Wicked men, man. The press is full of wicked men, man. Go ahead. And the fat overflow. Come. Just like, like we just a while ago when you squeeze the grapes that juice that come out is symbolic of the blood that's been it's been to be spewed out in this war this third world war it's symbolic of that man and that's what we, that's what the brother just read in uh revelation 14 no uh, 14 you read 15 i read 14 and 15 uh, yeah 14 and 15. yeah go to 18 read 18 too because i think Verse that's 18 yeah read 14 and 18. revelation 14 and uh 18. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over the fire, and cried with a loud, loud cry to him that had the uh, sharp sickle, See? saying, "Thrust in, thrust in thy sickle, sharp sickle, right, God. and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, God. for her grapes are full, full ripe, God. fully ripe." Go ahead. Go ahead. Excuse me. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Thank y'all. So, so that destruction is fully right, man. It's it's right. It's that time, man. Go back to uh, Joel. And that's twofold, like we were saying, man. That's talking about the deliverance. Talking about at that time, at that at that time, they're dealing with the deliverance of Israel, and it's also dealing with treading down uh, Esau. Okay. <laughs> and it said. Uh, I read verse 13, Joel 3 and 13. And put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, come, get ye down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. Come, the wickedness is great. The wickedness has reached what? The heights of heaven, man. So, it's, it's a cry for vengeance going out right now. Matter of fact, jump to 18, Revelation 18 and 5. So it's that, that they wickedness has reached to heaven, man. So they got to go, man. So the reapers are grabbing them, the angels are grabbing them sickles, man, and preparing to what? To cut this 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 uh harvest, man. Alright, go ahead. This is Revelation 18 and uh This is Revelation 18 and 5. For our sins have reached unto heaven, See? and the power had redeemed, re remembered, like and the Revelations uh, 8, okay. 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and, and the power had remembered her iniquities. Okay. See, the power had remembered her iniquities, man. You know, that's uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, man. See, Esau done running around here like the Lord, like back when in the slavery, when they was killing us and hanging us, and, and they didn't get destroyed right then, they probably thought the Lord was with them. They thought what they was doing was of the Lord. Reading the scriptures, giving a man a hundred lashes, but reading out the scriptures. Yeah. yeah. So they thought that the, they was, you know, the Lord was with Coming them. Coming with their own private interpretation. Coming with their own private interpretation. Good. That was good, brother. So 
the Lord has remembered all their iniquities, man. It's just said that their sins have reached all the way up to heaven, man. Oh, this. Go ahead. I got big when I thought, <laughs> I got the more of this. <laughs> <laughs> reward, reward, this is Revelation 8, 18 and uh, 6. Reward her even as, as, as she rewarded you. How does she mm. reward you? Oppression, right? Death, yeah. destruction, right. slavery. Yeah. That's how she rewarded you, man. And double unto her according to according to her works in the cup which she had filled 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 to her double 